Is that your heli? No, no, that, that, no, I literally had my volume turned almost all the way down because I was in a helicopter earlier. That thing don't fly right now, though. Yeah, 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 I was checking it out earlier. It's it. missing some stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, uh, how long have you been playing on this server, man? I've played on this server on and off for, like, three or four years. This is the server I learned how to play DayZ on. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Where's, uh, where's some so good place for some for loot? While. I mean, pretty much gotta look for heli crashes for the good shit, but... Yeah? Occasionally you can, uh... I mean, fire stations get you good stuff, of course. Fucking, uh... North what the airfield. Castles can have, not, like, military stuff, but useful stuff. And right, right. And castles a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, if I'm just looking to, like, get some basic shit, is, like, a town like Berezino good to go to, or should I try to head, like... Uh... Somewhere else, Bears, yeah. you know, might be alright. I mean, Solnich needs a decent town, the one right north of here. If you just go down mm -hmm. to the railroad tracks and follow them coast on your right, it's just, there's a lot of zombies because the railroad tracks spawn zombies and so do all the buildings, so you gotta watch out for that. But there's a couple of civilian buildings that spawn some stuff, and then you can go north and there's a factory you can loot, and then you can just keep following the coast north there, and there's a town, and there's bears, and, you know, it's a lot of stuff. You'll, you'll get gear. Okay, okay. Or yeah, I saw like a north. group of like eight zombies hey, near uh, those houses down there near the coast. That's kind of why I ran over the hill. What the hell is he about to do? There's a crowbar. So you can melee zombies. Oh, but sweet. Yeah, or you can, uh, you can, um, follow the, uh, go in from Solonichny, take that in, and go into Polana. Mm -hmm. After you gotta go through Delina first, but Polana's a really good place to loot too. Okay, all right. So uh, just basically head north, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, head north. Maybe cut inland at some point because there isn't anything past Berezino. Right, right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks for the advice, man. Hopefully, I will last a little bit longer now. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Thanks, man. You too. Oh, I should probably put that on my back. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, now we have a melee weapon, thanks to that guy. See? I'm not an asshole all the time. Just, uh, you know, just most of the time. And I think that that might be, like, the first stranger interaction. I don't know, there's something about Daisy Vanilla to me that just... I don't know. Makes me a lot more willing to talk to people and trust them a bit, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure why. I mean, it's still Daisy. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're still putting guns in people's hands who may not have the best intentions in, in the world necessarily, so... I don't know. But I'm gonna loot some of these barns around here. This is a, uh, pretty good... pretty good path to go on. I mean, I was mostly just asking that guy about loot and stuff, because... you know, obviously he's been playing here for a while. He's, uh, on and off pretty much for about three years or so. So, if anybody would know where the, the good loot is, he would. But yeah, I mean, we're just going to go ahead and loot some barns and get a moving on to Berezino. I'm not exactly sure where all I'm going to go in the next couple episodes. Uh, I am back on the US 434 server after I got not really like a lot of hate, but a lot of, uh, a lot of people saying like, oh, you know, th this isn't real vanilla and, you know, on that other server I was playing on, you know, this isn't real, real vanilla, this is like modded as fuck and it, it's not it's not a very good uh representation i guess of what uh daisy vanilla should be and i mean i i agree with people i was just looking on uh, for that necessary for that particular video i was just looking for some 
fairly quick PvP to get into, I guess you could say. So, um, I do not want to be holding that in my hand because uh, people may think that I have ammo in it. So, well, no, because that's just going to replace it. Okay, whatever. I'll just leave it there for right now. Um, unless I happen to come across some ammo over here somewhere, which I highly doubt. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, probably doesn't go with this weapon, but we will try it out anyways. <laughs> I'm not very familiar with, like, the ammo that the, uh, that the Winchester takes, because that's, that's not, uh, it's not normally my, my weapon of choice. I put a DMR in my hands, I know exactly what fucking goes with that. Yeah, th this doesn't go with that, so. Whatever. Uh, we will just go ahead and keep a hold of this for right now. I guess it probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to kind of just go ahead and attack that zombie because he probably has something on him, like some painkillers. There we go. I uh, can't go into that house for some reason or another. I know that they've got it open. What the fuck is that noise? I know that they've got those houses open on uh, Epoch and Overpoch servers now. I don't think they'll ever have it on vanilla servers. Which, I mean, isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of buildings you can go on to on the ch or go into rather on the Chinaris map. So yeah, but I don't know. This, I guess that a while ago, maybe a month or so ago, uh, servers like US 434 and uh, Daisy Europa um, kind of changed the way that they that you could join the games or whatever you can join it through the arma 2 daisy mod um actual like game in your steam list I'll, I'll i'll have a screenshot or whatever trying or basically showing you guys what i'm talking about that'll probably be able to explain it a little bit better than i can um but yeah i mean i i like this quite a bit more because this is uh for some reason, I, I don't remember if it was Europa or 434, where uh, the the chat wouldn't display right, like in the game. Like there was a different method of displaying the chat, and I can't remember what server that is. I mean, I'm sure one of you guys know, and I'm sure one of you guys will let me and the rest of the people know in the comment section. So feel free to do that, because I'm always. Uh, like, that's one of the things that I like about doing these kind of videos, <clears throat> like the solo videos. It kind of gives me a, well, I mean, hopefully it gives me the chance to maybe show or tell you guys something that, you know, maybe some people out there may not know. Like, you can't just run through these trees right here. You have to go around them. Um, okay. I don't know what that means. Um... But then, you know, also people will hop in to the uh, comments and, you know, if there's something I'm unsure of or if there's something I say that's not that's not right at all or not quite right, um, you know, people will go in there and correct me. And believe me, I'm not worried or uh, I got, I'm, I'm sure that there's a better word for that, but I'm not really uh, upset that people correct me. I would rather someone corrects me than me just going on not knowing the the real way to do things or the, the the better way to do things I guess in some situations so I mean as long as it's something like constructive I don't really mind and I mean I, I don't mind if like someone gets in there and in, in the comments and like trolls or whatever but you know because it's free speech I'm a big believer in free speech, and regardless of whether you have something good to say or something really shitty to say, it's it's all free speech. Luckily, I've, I haven't really had that many shitty comments, though. Watch, there's going to be a ton of them on this video. <laughs> 
Which is fine. Like I said, free speech. Come here, motherfucker. Here we go. Nothing on you, though? Okay. 10k clan want to work together sometime? Is there a 10k clan? A clan that's worth 10k? Yeah, I can't get one of those red houses. Eh, like I said, it sucks, but whatever. There are, luckily, some houses you can get into. Especially in this little area right here. Unfortunately, that's not one of the houses. <laughs> there it is, okay. I knew it was one of these cabins down here that you can get into, but... I wasn't quite sure if it was uh, the other one or not. Okay, let's let these guys uh, make their way in here. Okay, you're dead. And you're dead. I guess if it had that little circular thing, that little circular icon around a gun would probably indicate that uh, that particular zombie has gear. Although I have had it sometimes in the past where that little thing doesn't come up and the zombies have had shit on them, so I don't know. I have a can of franken beans. What is this? A map? That's fucking handy. Uh, some kind of backpack, a... Oh, a vest pouch. Fancy, fancy. Oh my god! Alright, so I am gonna start trying to use the tactic of sneaking around, because I'm kinda tired of seeing my color going in and out. Oh shit. There's some zombies running around over here already. Or at least I thought there was. It looked like there was. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna keep sneaking around though. Probably gonna be the best way to go about this, right? So just sneak around all the time. Zombie walking out of that house over there. Kinda makes me believe that. Yeah. Is that a player or another zombie in that house? I know I saw something moving around in there. See, I just saw something else move around. There's no way that can be a zombie. Hmm. See, this is kind of interesting. Because I don't know whether I should try to talk to this guy and be friendly, or go over there and try to hack him up with a machete. Because he might have some decent shit that I want. So. I don't know. We'll have to see how all this plays out. And go around the back. Because I think that's the only way in and or out. Is that a zombie? No, that's a player. Alright, so it would really suck 
to go and... Oh, he's not unarmed. He has a weapon. He's got some kind of weapon. It's in that bush over there. What is he doing? Did he run from that bush already? I don't know, but I do know that he has a gun. And... That is, uh... kind of what we're looking for. What is he rolling around for? What the fuck is this idiot doing? Look at this fella. Wait, that's a flashlight. The fuck is this guy doing? Hey man, what you rolling around for? What am I rolling around for? Yeah. Rolling around in the grass. It, it feels like... It, I feel like it's the best way to play this game. Oh, really? I feel like it's the most fun. Let me get this zombie yep. for you. Oh, thank you, I really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I give you much, I only have this flashlight if you want anything. Oh, no, no. It, it's all good, man. I, uh, I've i been watching you for like the past minute or two. You were like rolling around in the grass, and I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Yep. <laughs> Just having some fun. But yeah, it was a lot of fun actually. All right, man, take oh, it easy. God, I'm so, I'm so, all right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. See, I, I, I was gonna run up and chop the shit out of that guy until I realized that he was just carrying a flashlight around with him. 